What is up, my Mardi Gras crew? I'm back with another banger for you. Yes, I am, y'all. And today, I am going to share with you how to make a quick fried rice, okay? Fried rice, egg roll, and fried chicken. Now, I'm not gonna make the egg rolls. I bought them from my local grocery store, but I will be showing you how to make a quick fried rice and fried chicken. All right, so let's, uh, well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with everybody, okay? And hit that notification bell so you know when my videos are posting, all right? So what are we gonna need, okay? So for the fried rice, let's start with that. Let's start with the fried rice, okay? So for the fried rice, I already pre-cooked three cups of rice, three cups of rice, medium grain, which is my preference. You're gonna need three to four um, medium, or well, large eggs, these are large, three to four medium egg, uh, large eggs. You're gonna need some butter, and this is all for your fried rice. You're gonna need a small white onion, chopped, a yellow onion, chopped fine. I don't like mine chopped thick and neither do my kids. Some green onions and, try to show y'all this. Green onions, however many, it's for garnish. Sometimes when I make it for me, I'll put green onions in my, you know, mixture with my onions and everything. And you're gonna need about a tablespoon of garlic, okay? Um, salt, pepper, soy sauce. I have the low sodium. Is the light in the So I have the low sodium. And let me think, is there anything else? Uh, salt, pepper, garlic, garlic powder. Um, well, I don't really put the salt, the garlic powder, but the salt and pepper, yes, that's what you'll need. So let's get started, okay? All right. I'm gonna go ahead and crack my eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and crack. I wish you guys could see, but I'm using a different stand today. So yeah, that's why it's not uh, high enough. But I'm hoping, I have my chicken here pre-washed. I'm hoping that uh, I can fix the camera to where you guys can see that. Maybe I can fix it. So I did three. I'm gonna do three. All right, three eggs, and then I'm gonna whisk it. I don't put anything in the eggs. I don't put anything in them. No salt, no pepper, nothing. All the flavor comes from any salt and pepper you might add to your uh, mixture. I mean, your, you know, your rice and everything or the saltiness will come from the soy sauce. So you don't want it to be super salty. All right. Now let me take y'all over to the cooking area. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my butter to my skillet. Oh, I'm gonna turn the skillet and I'm gonna turn the skillet down. Add butter to my skillet. And I'm gonna cook my eggs first and then set them to the side. Now when you cook your eggs, you want your eggs to be really, really, um, I guess chopped. You know, you don't want thick pieces of egg. You don't want thick pieces of egg. When your egg is 
almost cooked, time to fire it off. And then continue to chop it up. You don't want your eggs to be dry because they're gonna kind of cook more when they're, they're gonna cook more when they're in the uh, fried rice. So you just wanna kind of chop it up really good. of egg, not super big pieces of egg. Perfect for your fried rice, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna place this aside. Okay, now we're going to cook our onions and garlic with a little olive oil. A little olive oil. because the garlic is gonna cook pretty quickly. So you wanna cook your onion, like I said, you wanna chop it really thin. If you like big onions, go at it, but you wanna chop it really thin and um, cook it until it's translucent. Once you've added your garlic, you can start adding your rice. Got my rice. I have my rice. Now I'm going to add some butter. And I feel like with the butter, with the butter you add it, uh, more so to your liking, maybe start off with, maybe start off with uh, one or two tablespoons and just kind of go from there. To see. Okay. Gonna add my egg back into the pot. Well, into the pot. Another thing, soy sauce. I would say put one fourth cup and then that's good. And then from there, just uh, continue to add to your liking. Okay, I'm gonna add some black pepper. The soy sauce is salty already. And I'm just going to mix this all together. Now 
Now you could also cook your your rice the night before, and um, some people say it comes out better. I just like my rice fresh, so that's what I do. I'm gonna add some parsley to my rice. chicken wings. I have my chicken wings soaked in, uh, I soaked them in uh, lemon and water, whatever, but I clean them. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So how do I uh, season my chicken wings? Well, let's go ahead and get that in. A little mustard. Yes, mustard, garlic powder, all-purpose seasoning or seasonal is what we call it. that batter to stick get it mixed all good now look at that you can see the seasoning on there okay you can see the seasoning on there okay. that's all mixed all good. okay I'm gonna take these off and I'm gonna need some new ones in here this aside and now my flour my flour is where I'm going to add my salt and pepper okay so yes I season my chicken but I add my salt and pepper to my flour okay because you want your flour to have a good uh, a good taste to it you know Mix that all in. You know, mix it all in. And that's it. So let's get to frying. Oh, before I start frying, guys, these are my egg rolls. These are my egg rolls. You buy, I bought them from Rouse's. Uh, you get six of them. And you get some sauce with them. I don't know what kind of sauce this is. But anyway, yeah, it's six and it is $4.99. So you put them in the oven and they are crispy and delicious. Got my flour, chicken and flour. It coats really nice. Look at that. Look at that coat. Perfect. Shake that excess flour off and drop it in the grease.
All right, so look at that. Perfectly fried. Can you see that? Perfectly fried. Yummer. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am learning. So take it easy on me with the cooking videos. I'm learning and I promise I'm going to get better because I'm going to keep trying. But let's try this out. So I have my fried rice, fried chicken, and egg rolls. I'm going to get a good little... Mmm, mmm, delicious. <clears throat> if I would have did anything there, I would have added a little more soy sauce. Like, I love soy sauce, so I'm probably gonna add some more now. Let's get the egg roll in. So good, y'all. I'm trying to think what else to tell y'all. The chicken, keep it on a medium heat. I don't use a thermometer or whatever to check my heat. Medium heat and just fry it until golden brown and it should be perfectly fine. Look at that. Mm. So good, y'all. Yeah. Mm. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. If I was making this for like a party or something, I or something, I would have put shrimp in my fried rice. But Madeline can't have shrimp, and my stepson um, doesn't eat shrimp, so that's why I just did fried rice. But you can add shrimp when you cook your onions and your and everything. When you add your garlic, add your shrimp because shrimp doesn't take that long to cook. So good. One second. I'm still frying chicken. One second. <laughs> So good, y'all. I mean, you know what I could have did? Chicken. But I, I'm i just cooking for uh, my stepkids. Like, I'm just learning, like, what they like and everything. So I just want to do something that I knew they could, they would eat and not um, go and add all kind of stuff. So you could do chicken with this, too. Mm. So good. Mm. <gasps> All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, I'm going to get, I'm going to put this to the side. 
and finish frying my chicken. But thank you guys for joining me. Give me some feedback, you know, try not to be negative. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep trying and practicing with this um, filming and cooking thing. It's kind of hard. <laughs> not as easy as I thought it was going to be, but yeah, make sure you share this video. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know my videos are posted. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.